everybody, it's Michael here from the Trading Institutional Order Flow thread on Forex Factory. I hope you're all well. Um, today we're going to look at daily charts, looking for short-term income trades, just big picture levels now. Um, and um, we're going to look at Quiet Storm's post on the thread. Welcome, Quiet Storm. Thank you for sharing your chart. So it's on the CAD yen, I believe. So we will take a look at that as well. Um, when we get to it, I have some of my thoughts that I would like to share with you on on your post. So let's get started, starting with the dollar index. Um, the dollar has been on a tear, as we know, and we were sitting up in here not too long ago and come down. This area is quite a mess with, with the um, way prices gradually moved up. We are sitting here, and we pointed this out in the round table um, a few days ago. It's been tested before, we've come back in deeper and you can see prices trying to hold. This may just base and fall through because it's it's not a, a you know that good a level and there's really nothing at these levels either. The the next real quality area um, will be that. So in terms of the dollar using these levels um, to time your entries on the euro um, may be a, a good idea. At least that's the way that I use that correlation. Looking at the euro itself, let's take this out. We don't need that. The euro as well, as we said, is sitting, as we would expect, in an opposite sort of level. So it's sitting again in a tested level, and it's still holding there. Um, we are looking at a, a market that's gone very far very quickly. Looking at um, drawing momentum on that, you can see that the most... The momentum has been broken, so we may get buyers trying to come in as we come back to these lower levels. There are a couple of levels down in here. There's, oops, let me get the right tool. There's a little bit there, and just above it, there's another one. Um, that one's been tested once already, though, so be mindful of that. And that's the level that's holding prices at the moment. It's been tested once already there as well. So. We will probably have some buyers trying to hold this price as this momentum has ended. Um, the trend is still down, so we'll, we'll keep an eye on that, but trying to time it with, with the dollar levels uh, may be a useful exercise. And in the Aussie, we, the Aussie has turned into an uptrend now. We have already tested the demand levels down in here, and we're pushing up. The next area to consider in the Aussie will be up in here. Um, looking on smaller time frames down in this level we may find some in fact let's take a quick peek and see if there's anything here's a level that may interest us um, further down in that daily uh, daily area so keeping an eye on that one on the pound us dollar very very messy just continues to grind down we're beginning to take away little pockets of selling um, we still have bigger pockets up in there there's really no quality until we get up into the into that level there um, for supply and for demand we have that below us so those are the levels that I would be interested in personally and in the New Zealand US dollar again we're forming new levels this one's a bit tight because the move away is not big enough yet we have supply above us we're sitting in one right now but the trend has turned into an uptrend so selling has suddenly become um, a lower probability proposition so bear that in mind as we're going through these levels they're not that quality um, because they're very squashed up here and we have demand forming um, as we go up the us dollar canadian has come back and hit into some demand in there and is trying to go back up have we hit that supply yet so we have supply there we that's what we hit um, to come down we're hitting that at the moment and gone back up so we're very caught um, in between those two two levels and we have these levels above and below us US dollar Swiss the US dollar Swiss has lost its uptrend it's now in a downtrend um, looking for supply above in terms of fresh on tested levels that one's been tested um, ever so slightly so for short-term income trading you might want to watch it just keep that level on your chart 
and we also have a little one here let's see if this one's been tested hasn't been tested yet so those two levels above and looking below us we have a little bit of a level there and a little bit here so those are the levels um, for short-term income trading in the US dollar Swiss US dollar Japanese yen we have supply above us and we're now forming demand below us um, at this level so keeping an eye on those two um, for short-term trades the gold market we have demand right there and we still have some supply above us um, over here so we'll see how how those levels how prices behave when they get to those levels for WTI oil we have these levels as this market continues in its downtrend um, you can see the clear uptrend that it's been in for so long and we are now beginning to you know establish another downtrend on this side see if we'll see if we can hold at these levels um, when prices get there um, Brent is a bit stronger it's not in a downtrend in itself yet we ha we do have some supply up here have a little bit of demand down in there so that one's already tested and done copper oh copper is so sideways it's not even funny so be mindful of that as you're looking to trade this market there is very little quality in fact you probably have a little bit there more importantly that one um, we are still stuck in this overall range so please be mindful of that there is this market has been going sideways for since 2017 at least so be mindful of that the US markets we're beginning to push now coming closer to these supply zones here um, the demand zones have not we've not managed to even get down there yet and we're pushing higher so watch out for these supply um, levels if we do come down we will have some people trying to buy here I'm gonna put a circle around the area I'm talking about around there um, it's not a quality level for us because of the the time spent at this level there's been so much trading in this range um, it's taken out people who tried to short when it broke out of the range now it's breaking back out you can be sure a lot of um, traders are buying it as it's breaking above into new highs um, but just be mindful of that, those supply zones above us it could also still be a trap and in the Dow um, the Dow itself is sitting in this level um, it's sitting here um, again quite a lot of basing quality levels are up there that one's already been tested so I'm not going to include that one um, and the, it, the Dow was weaker it did make it back to its demand so it's again a market that's caught in between these two levels um, for play okay so that's a quick run through let's go to um, your post quiet storm looking at the CAD yen so I'm just going to go to my chart and I'll show you some the reason why um, we some of some of the guys in our, in our group when we analyzed the CAD yen over the weekend this opportunity that you posted did come up you could it could have been taken for a quick um, sort of one-to-one -one, maybe one to one and a half I, I think but the reason it wasn't a quality level um, in terms of the big picture analysis which would also lead you to be very careful in mitigating your risk and all of this was because number one the move away like you said I think you mentioned um, something about the move away um, yeah it doesn't have a, a two to a minimum move away there um, that's number one number two um, the markets didn't really accept this imbalance so that pullback was into that level of demand as it pulled down it went straight back up meaning for for those sellers who were trying to push this down they were immediately met with buying um, which is often a trap um, for people trying to sell the breakdown below that kind of level so you can be sure a lot of people were looking at this level as one that's come down second time being tested pushed back it's come back down if this level breaks it's going to go further down possibly to these lows if it holds it might go back up you can be sure a lot of people were trying to sell it as it broke and 
they're the ones who've now been caught on the wrong side of the trade at least so far um, so that's why that level so looking for levels inside this going down to the four hour and then the one hour you can see the four hour level inside there that was the move to try to sell it down back into four hour demand so it, it's very tight and then taking it on the one hour looking at that level it was really really um, a challenge particularly also because of the way that it arrived look at the sort of stair stepping that's what we call it the stair stepping way that it came up to that level you can see all these um, not even quality demand zones holding price up and this was the level that um, that was being looked at so what the guys did um, when analyzing this market is going down to a 30 minute chart and looking inside that level and s really getting the meat of it so that was that would have been a one-to-one -one trade um, for some of the guys who trade really just for income cash flow I call it cash flow trading really um, and and we're done with it um, but it was not one that you could really hold because the quality just wasn't there starting from the big picture analysis down so I hope that that helps quiet storm again welcome to TIOF thank you for sharing your thoughts and thank you to all of you who continue to post um, and continue to maintain the um, the atmosphere for the for the thread I really do appreciate your candor towards each other um, again just a quick reminder the roundtable open day it's the 10th which is this Sunday at 8 30 p.m. UK time if anyone's interested in joining us to come in see what we do the processes we go through last week we had one of our, our um, top students Austin go through his charts I just sat back and watched him do his thing and just put in some of my two pence into his analysis and the feedback has been amazing so this is the idea to get people to learn how to fish for themselves Austin's been working with me for maybe just over a few, a few maybe a year or so now and he's done very good for himself I'm really proud of the progress that he's made so it's 8 30 p.m. UK time if you wanted to come in and see what we do just send me an email at storehouseanalytics at gmail.com and we'll send you an invite all right everybody trade well trade safe and we'll talk again soon bye for now